If you want to expand your Star Trek knowledge, check this out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I did not know this book existed. Now, this book is a little deceiving in some ways. It's called the Star Trek The Next Generation Sketchbook. And I googled sketchbooks, Star Trek, because I was like, this looks interesting. And a lot of them are just like blank, no content books for actually sketching and taking notes. But this one is not just for taking notes. I mean, it's not for taking notes at all. It's like the sketches from Star Trek The Next Generation. And as you can see here, Generations and First Contact. So it's kind of the original crew. This thing is pretty big, man. I was actually really excited about getting this. And what you might be able to see here, so we get a long thing on the bottom. And if I do it like this, it's kind of like Star Wars. All right, but what I was excited about is it's just filled with color pages. Now, most of the drawings here are just sketches, like pen or pencil drawings. But what's awesome is I just love this stuff. I just eat it up. So what you might be able to see here, I don't want to give you the whole book because otherwise you won't have to buy it. But it's just a lot of artists' renderings of stuff. Man, Excelsior is one of my favorite starships of all time. I don't know about you, but uh, the Excelsior is. Now this one is actually the Excelsior, but it's the Enterprise C, I believe. No, Enterprise B, which was actually the Excelsior model with the little kind of these canards uh, placed around the main navigational deflector dish to make it look like a different ship. But they just reused the Excelsior model, if you didn't know that. But it's cool. They've got the drawings up there. Ooh, Enterprise B, blueprints, schematics. Oh, man, some close-up photos of the model. And what I love about that is I don't think they were able to remove those extensions that they put on there later. But, man, it's just filled with cool stuff, dude. I could just get immersed in this you might remember those scenes from generations oh there's the dry dock yeah. utopia planitia and there's just so much stuff in here i love seeing kind of this behind the scenes stuff you know the uh storyboards of what they wanted to do in was it generations i think so just super cool man look at that that's the crash landing scene of the saucer, which was in the tech manual. So it was really cool that they put that into the movie. And that was all done with practical effects, which is really cool. It, you know, it, it still looked fake to me in the movie when I saw it. But now that everything's computer generated, those practical effects, I actually like so much more because there's just the detail in the way the earth moves and the dirt and the explosions that just doesn't really get captured on uh, CGI the way you know i would like it to anyway uh sketches of the bridge i don't know it's just like a really cool behind the scenes you can see what the artist intended you can see how close to the sketches like the props became and it's just kind of cool to have like that inside look it like makes you feel like you were part of it and it gives you more appreciation i think for what went on you might remember the scene where the champagne bottle goes and crashes on the enterprise b hall at the very beginning that's cool it's all storyboarded man and look that's just a taste of it look at this look at all the stuff in here so if you want to pick this up oh man at first contact was a great movie i was a little disappointed that the starship to me the enterprise e wasn't quite as sexy as the d but you know it is what it is um, I'm not quite as sexy as Russell Wong, but I'm much sexier than uh, Colin Farrell. Anyway, look, you could just spend hours on this, and for a real trekker, dude, this thing is just going to blow your mind. So if you want to pick this up, I picked it up. It was like a new condition book. I think you will really enjoy it because I am enjoying it so far. Hey, I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.